My name is Jay Grams. My family has owned the Volo Auto Museum since 1960. We have a few hundred of the most exciting collector cars and they're all for sale in one location. I personally have handpicked them from around the country. Welcome to my sales shop. Come on, let's go for a spin. We've got some old school cool for you right here. This is a stripped down sleeper. It's got rubber floor mats instead of carpet, no radio, no heater. What it does have, a 409 motor and a four speed. It's a 58,000 mile clean car that they did a body off frame rotisserie restoration. Old school cool. If you go to volocars.com, <clears throat> you can look at all the pictures, read the full description, and get the price, not only on this one, but we do have a few hundred collector cars all for sale. Visit volocars.com. If you enjoy watching the video, subscribe to our YouTube channel, click on the bell icon, and you'll be notified as the new uh, videos are posted. But right now, let's go for a spin in the 61 Bel Air. It is, like I said, body was removed from the frame, put on a rotisserie, which means they could flip it over. The bottom of the car is all clean metal. The floors, the braces, the rockers, all real nice and clean. They were prepped and they were sprayed in the red oxide primer like they left the factory. Uh, even up behind the tires is all good clean metal. So then the chassis was completely restored, all painted black. All the front end completely rebuilt, the bushings, the ball joints, the springs, same thing back here, it was all taken apart, rebuilt, shocks, bushings, all that good stuff. It does have a pretty cool custom exhaust system on there. It's a nice fat dual exhaust, uh, it neatly runs along the X-frame, has Flowmaster mufflers, but it also has electric dumps not far off the motor. You hit a switch inside and they open. Although I got to warn you, I don't know where the switch is, so I don't know if I'll demonstrate them or not. But when I pulled in here, this thing was loud. They might already be open. I'm not sure. Um, but getting back to the underneath, the brakes were all redone, the fuel tank, the straps, the lines, all that's redone. The e-brake is hooked up. You look up at the motor, it's immaculate. I mean, the oil pan is as slick as most paint jobs on cars. Uh, the four speed is nice and clean. Uh, so under this car is really, really impressive. The body is also amazing. This paint job, this was done at least 10 years ago, and uh, it's held up like it was just done yesterday. Body is all square and flush. That's really a big thing. That's what I'm looking for. Nice, square, flush. You know what it doesn't have right here? It doesn't have an antenna because it's a radio delete. This is slick as Teflon too, by the way. All of this is nice. Again, square and flush. All the body gaps are real nice, smooth. There's no bubbles. I haven't seen an issue anywhere on this body. I don't see any cracking. I don't see anything I need to apologize for. The metal flake, uh, it's fawn color paint. The metal flake is laid out nice, and as the lights hit it, as it goes around, it has little different colors. And then the clear coat is polished out like glass. Uh, speaking of glass, it's all real nice and clear. They got some old vintage racing decals on the windows here. Tail lights are real nice. The bumper is real nice. It's a little cloudy. We just pulled in from, from out in the cold. Uh, but the emblems, trim, all of that's excellent. Even the gas door fits perfectly. Uh, the rims are painted as nice as the car. The poverty hubcaps look pristine. Uh, BF Goodrich radial redline tires and I think they were added pretty recently. So the door handles, bow tie mirror, uh, all that's real nice. Original windshield in the car and is very nice and clear. Side moldings are real nice. We got T3 headlights up front, the grill, the bumper, everything's real nice. I found the first flaw. There's a nick right here, a stone chip. This is about as detailed as I've seen a car. I mean, this is immaculate in here. The finishes are glossy. It's just beautiful. It's so nice in here, so detailed. So that's a 409 motor, claimed to be about 360 horsepower. That's what they put out. Um, but I don't know what's been done to this one, but you'll hear it in a minute. It sounds like 1,000 horsepower. 
But we've got a Delco reproduction battery, not one of the fake toppers, but an actual battery, all bolted down properly, has the spring clamp cables, has correct GM hoses, clamps, uh, the does have an upgraded uh, carburetor with an electric choke, but it has the glass bowl, has a dual snorkel air cleaner, a heater delete, so there's no heater hoses, no heater box, there's just a factory plate, uh, fuel pump, everything looks great. 58,000 miles, the interior is original. It has just enough patina where that's completely believable. Uh, it looks like an original interior. Now, don't get me wrong, it's not ripped up or torn, but you got some gentle wear, like right here. But this is all real nice. You got a little nick down here, but it's not warped. It's all straight and clean. I was going to say a little discolored up here, but that's just the way the light was hitting it. They've added seat belts has the rubber mat. The only carpet is over the hump. It has the correct uh, bench seat style shifter with the little white ball. has a vintage tachometer mounted on the column. The dashboard, all that's real nice. There's no heater controls. They're not there because there's no heater. This board that I have is pictures of the car before restoration. And you can see it was a good clean car to begin with before they restored it. The wiper motor, I mean, it looks like it was sent out and professionally restored. The knuckles on the steering, the steering box, the wiring, the regulator, the generator. I mean, it's not just there. I mean, it looks immaculate. Uh, has the, the crayon markings put back on the firewall, cadmium plated hinges, just beautiful motor compartment. If I took this to a car show, I, I'd like run out here and open the hood. I'd be so excited. The jams are beautiful. Doors just click shut. Real nice. Uh, it's got an owner's manual in the glove box. The dome light works. Headliner and visors are excellent. Trunk. I knew I was forgetting something. Like, what am I doing? I need the key to the trunk. It's real nice in here, too. Super clean metal with a very tidy spatter finish paint. It's got new trunk mats. Does have some floor mats for in the car. Uh, an old bias ply tire on a painted rim. The jack assembly is all restored. Has the original sticker. This might be the original paint under the trunk lid, and it's really nice. Actually, I think this jam and the weather strip might be original. I really think so. So, like I said, I'm going to start it. I'm sorry, I don't know if the dumps are open or closed right now, but it makes plenty of noise. You'll, you'll hear that. I was surprised for an old 61 Bel Air. This thing sounds like a 1,000 horsepower Chevelle. Listen to that camp. Those dumps are closed. All that sounds coming out the tailpipe. So that's the quiet version. When we figure out how to open those dumps, it you're going to have to have earplugs. But we will get that figured out. There is one toggle switch there, but it didn't do anything. Uh, so we'll check that out. Sill plates are nice. Even look way up in here by the hinges. It's nice. The cranks and handles. It's just a really good car. 
There's a crack in the weather strip. I think that's the original weather strips. Got a special car here. Really do. I look at a lot of cars. This one's special. That's my opinion of this one right here. Go to volocars.com. That's where you can find the salesman. Any specific questions or concerns you have, ask them. They will help you. They will also make the financing, the delivery, and the paperwork super easy for you. Go to volocars.com. If you just enjoy watching the videos, I appreciate that. Subscribe to our YouTube channel, click on that bell icon, and you will be the first to see the next one posted. Thanks for watching.